Okay, so just got to my parents' house to train. It is Wednesday afternoon, it's like three-ish. Um, I completely forgot to bring my camera. So this is gonna be an iPhone quality video, so that's not great. Um, but yeah, I got SPD today. Um, it's week three, so it's getting a bit heavier, um, but nothing crazy. I'm not gonna ramble too much. Just gonna get into the house, get some stuff sorted, and then I'm gonna train. I'll be there at the after party Show up looking like a zombie It don't matter, nobody stop me I'll be there, just tell me where Damn I'm a long way home, at a split road Gotta make a choice, do I sober up? Am I trying to keep it going to be continued Or am I trying to lose good night, came over now? I don't think I wanna leave at a tough week Gotta realize this is what I need Don't got the time to be counting sheep It's too late, I'm in too deep Don't wanna contemplate, overcomplicate this And I made my choice, wanna see what's going on I'll be there at the after party Show up looking like a zombie It don't matter, nobody stop me I'll be there Yeah, my body keeps telling me go I know be stacking towers from downtown I'll be on a roll Money soaking, it's a rush hour This, that, overtime, champagne shower Step back, skip lines Yeah, I'm never going caught Oddy, oddy, go ahead, I'll show Don't wanna contemplate, overcomplicate this And I made my choice Wanna see what's going on I'll be there at the after party Show up looking like a zombie It don't matter, nobody stop me I'll be there, I'll be there I'll be there at the after party Show up looking like a zombie It don't matter, nobody stop me I'll be there, just tell me actually barely filmed anything yesterday um purely because I've got my camera and by the time like I was it was dark by the time I went to film any recaps and stuff my camera quality looked terrible on my phone so I was like I'm just gonna leave it and I'll recap today so let's talk through the session firstly very annoyed with myself I plan to start training a lot earlier than I actually did um, I had to start my car insurance yesterday with my mum because we're on like a motley car policy so I got to hers about two half two which is kind of the plan and it all along we did that but we didn't finish doing that until six by the time I'd run around, run around companies and stuff so that was really annoying because that meant I couldn't actually start training and then my sister and my nephew turned up so I didn't start training until eight um by that point energy levels were just gone I was very tired I just wasn't in the mood and because it is week three it is getting heavy it wasn't anything like crazy heavy but I just it's heavy enough that I need to sort of focus and be in the mood to do it and I just wasn't um 
but it's fine. I got through the session, as you can see. So squats, I did 145 for a set of seven, and they were really comfortable, but I was really struggling. I was really out of breath. Um, and then my back offs were three by seven at 135, which again, should be really comfortable. And they were really easy. Although I will just insert the clip, second rep of my third set, completely just lost my center of mass, fell forward onto the front of my foot, terrible, paused it, bounced it, recovered it, did the rest of the set, but it was terrible. Um, but yeah, no, basically rambling squats were fine, but I was just so out of breath. But I've discovered today, I think, why. Um, for the last like couple of weeks, I've thought I've been getting a little bit ill. Like I've just felt like, not bunged up, but my nose just hasn't quite felt right. My sinuses haven't felt quite right. And this morning I've woken up and I can feel that I've got a cold. Like I've been sneezing a lot more today. Um, my nose has just been like a lot more blocked and my throat's hurting more. Um, so, and also my taste is very off today as well, which is really annoying. I hate when that happens. So I hate being ill, let's be honest. Um, but also I feel like me being ill has just been a very common thing recently. Um, I'm not bad at all, but I think that explains why I was a bit more out of breath and stuff last night than normal. But anyway, got through squats. They were fine. Um, bench was actually really good. So 70 felt horrible. 100 felt okay, but not great. Like when I say horrible, I don't mean horrible. Like 70 never feels horrible for me, but I could feel that there was a lot of like fatigue in my body. Um, my chest and stuff was a bit sore. My triceps were exhausted before I even started benching. Um, and then, yeah, I did my top single, three count, 107. It was a little bit of a short count, but it was fine. It moved fine. It was a little bit slow on the way up, but it was still fine. Um, and then back offs, still managed to hit a PB, even though fatigue was through the roof. The reason fatigue was through the roof is very much self-inflicted. Um, on Monday, had my upper body accessory, well, full body accessory day. Um, but on the upper body side, especially, actually to be fair on all of it, very much push myself to the limit. Um, I wasn't in the mood to go. I didn't actually get to the gym until 10 p.m. because I have other stuff to do in the evening. Um, the session normally takes me about an hour and 20 minutes. I actually got it done in literally just over an hour um, and I went heavy on everything I normally do. Really pushed myself on dumbbell chest press especially. Um, so that explains why I felt fatigued going into bench. But it's fine because I still hit a PB on my rep work or I think it's a PB anyway. I don't think I've ever done 100 for sets of seven before. So it's three by seven at 100. Then my last set, I only did six reps. I probably could have grinded out the seventh, but it would have been, my ass would have come off a bench. It would have been a death grind. It just wasn't necessary. Um, so no, I'm really happy with that actually. At the moment, I in, like, in the moment as it happened, I was annoyed that it moved so slowly. But then I was like, your body feels like shit. You're exhausted. You're training later than planned. And you just hit a PB. You just repped 100 literally like it was nothing. So, well, not like it was nothing, but you get my point, you know. I can't be mad at repping 100 for sets of seven and a set of six on a day where bench doesn't feel strong. Like, I really can't. Um, and also, I just keep thinking to myself, like, if things are moving this well under this much fatigue, what is going to happen when I pull that fatigue back from the accessories and things in that final block um, and that final push into comp? So, yeah, basically, a lot of ramble there. Session was fine, and then deadlifts were absolutely fine nothing to really say just three by three at 162 setting me up nicely to load 170 for reps next week hopefully that will go to plan um but yeah the session was really good i'm actually really happy with it i feel like i'm kind of talking i feel quite out of it i think because i'm a little bit ill and stuff like i just don't feel great and also sleep this week has not been good either which i wanted to mention so diet and stuff is all like back on track absolutely fine but my sleep quality this week has just not been good. Um, like I said, I trained so late on Monday. So I know why I'm feeling run down to be fair. So Sunday I refed at British Juniors, um, went, had to go to Gymshark um, Lifting Club, which is like just outside of Birmingham, I think. Um, that was like a three hour drive for me. So on Sunday, I literally got up, had food, got ready, drove to Gymshark, so three hours, refed for like four hours, then drove home. So I literally popped to Birmingham, which is the most ridiculous thing ever, um, just to ref. It was fun, don't get me wrong, and I don't mind doing it, like, I enjoy refing. Um, and it's fun to ref at national level as well, like most of the comps I've refed have been regional. Um, so yeah, basically, got home from Gymshark at 11, I think it was, maybe just before 11. So I had to have a meal when I got in, lucky it was already prepped, so I had to heat, heat it up um, and eat it. Then I had to get up for work early on Monday anyway. Um, and then didn't train until 10 Monday night, didn't get home until gone 11 Monday night, literally came in, showered, went straight to bed, like I didn't even eat, 
um, and then Tuesday up early work and then to be fair I don't think I had a, I think I had quite an early night on Tuesday to be fair but still I had to be up again early Wednesday so I haven't like caught up on the weekend yet and the driving as well like, I've been driving a lot the last few weekends and like I don't find driving tires me out that much but it's one of those things where it does catch up with you um, and I can feel it catching up with me but thankfully it is now Easter so it's Thursday now um, other than like just generally like programming and stuff I haven't got much work to do over the Easter weekend um, and I'm going to take it a little bit easier this weekend so that's fine I can catch up on my rest um, hopefully knock off whatever illness is kind of building up in my system um, but yeah so that is recap of training and the week so far everything's good I'm feeling in a really good spot uh, I mentioned in the last video I was really struggling mentally um, there's a lot of self-doubt creeping in about whether or not I'll be ready for comp that seems to have just vanished um, I've been listening to a lot of the podcasts and stuff that have been out like I listen to pretty much every powerlifting podcast I can find um, and a lot of them recently have been the US um, US team so powerlifting American nationals was a couple of weeks ago um, and a lot of them and I've been like interviewed and stuff and I'm listening to a lot of their content and I think it's been really helpful for me to listen to their mindset like a lot of people don't really like the American lifters because they're so I guess arrogant and they're so like cocky they're in your face and then that sort of attitude which is literally the polar opposite of me I'm not that at all but I could I actually really like that about them and I know it's like I think it's an American thing like it's just kind of how they're raised how they're brought up in that culture um especially like sporting background like especially the men's side like the men have grown up in like team sports in locker rooms like you kind of expect them to grow up like that and they're bringing it into the sport which I think is really cool and I think is exciting and I also think that's why they're so good like they some of them have even said that you've got to be a bit delusional to get to the top because you have to have these beliefs that you can do things that have never been done before and you have to be a bit crazy to think you can do something that's never been done before um and I've really been trying to like channel that mindset a little bit more and I definitely think it's helping when I say that mindset I mean like the, the delusional kind of self-belief side I'm not going to be getting all cocky and arrogant and like screaming as I approach the platform and dancing all over the platform that will not be happening I will be looking emotionless on the platform maybe smiling if I get white lights that's literally all I ever do um but yeah I've been really trying to channel that and just remember that I literally can do it like I've proved to myself in this off season with no pressure of competing my lifts have gone incredibly well my progress has been great and there's no reason why that can't continue now I've signed up for a comp like signing up for a comp isn't going to change a thing it just means that I've got a date to work to um so yeah mindset is 100 times better let's hope it stays like this um and yeah someone also asked in last video so this is a very long talking clip I do apologize um let me load it up so someone asked me to talk through more of like the diet side um where is it okay yeah so someone just said they were interested in like the diet side of things um supplements i'm taking protein etc so what i will do in the next video so i'll film it on saturday and i will post it up on monday is so i will do like a full day of eating because saturday is a training day and i think that's a bit more interesting like I, it's annoying for me because i feel like my training days are so like hectic that I don't really ever have time to take the camera around me through the day um, but I'm going to make an effort to this Saturday and I'll film what I'm eating um, and talk through everything and how I plan things around my training and recovery and stuff um, but just quickly to answer the supplement side so the only supplement that I take is creatine and then I sometimes have protein powder if I need to boost my protein for the day um, it's not very often I have that it's literally just if I say I'm going out for a meal and I've tracked my food for the restaurant but the protein's a little bit low I might have a protein shake um or yeah if there's just a day when my protein just happens to be a little bit lower I do mostly get it in I'd say like nine days out of ten I do just get it in through my actual food like I eat meat it's pretty easy for me to do and I also cook everything myself so I can make sure I'm getting like lean cuts of meat and stuff and cooking that up so yeah I don't take any actual supplements apart from creatine um and with that also I don't just take one scoop so one scoop is five grams roughly I don't weigh it or anything I literally just use the scoop but I have like one and a half scoops maybe just over a day so I'd say probably like seven to eight grams a day um and I found so up until my last comp in August I was only having one scoop a day um but one of my friends sort of said to me she was like yeah but you are like a bigger female that you are a heavier lifter do you not think you should try having more because she I think she's like five to ten kilos heavier than me and she takes one and a half scoops a day um so I tried it and actually I don't I don't know if it's placebo but I do feel like it's made a difference and I know my training has been 
kind of a lot more head down focused since that last comp but I do feel like it's made a difference so the other good thing as well is I do also think it is help making me retain a little bit more which is kind of what creatine does so when I cut that like a week out from comp I do think I'll see a bigger drop on the scales as well which would be an easy way to help me make weight so yes rambling basically I take creatine every day one and a half scoops and I sometimes supplement my protein but that's literally it um I don't even take anything like multivitamins or anything because I just forget to take them um so yeah that is my supplements but yeah next video I will do a full day of eating as well as my training recap and I'll take you through a Saturday with me basically um so yeah that'll be the next video so if you are interested in that side of things please tune in and watch it um but yeah that's all I've got to say I think I've just sat rambling at the camera for ages but I also don't feel great and I feel like I'm not really making any sense because I'm just a bit overtired and underslept for the same thing it's fine see right gonna wrap up here I hope you have enjoyed if you have please leave a like comment and subscribe if you have any questions for me anything you want to see anything you want me to talk through in more detail please let me know someone did also ask me to talk through how I structure my training how I write a training block and that side of things which I would definitely definitely do at some point I am going to upgrade my um, computing system and everything soon hopefully um, basically waiting to move house and then I'll have more space and I'll actually set up a full-on office rather than just having a corner of the living room um, and I want to set up a bigger like workstation and then I can do more videos around programming and that side of things so I think that'll be quite interesting but I'm basically just waiting so I can make a good video rather than just talking at people and it not really making sense because I can't show you at the same time as talking so rambling again Thank you if you've made it this far. I'm very surprised if you have. But if you have, like I say, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you on Monday for a full day of eating on a training day.